In this lesson, we are going to dive into the often neglected topic of stage direction. You know that italicized text that you so often skip over when you're reading a play? Well, it's time to start reading and understanding the importance of that text. First off, some of you might be wondering what stage direction even is. We can define stage direction from Webster's Dictionary. All instruction written into the script of a play indicating stage actions, movements of performers, or production requirements. But what does all this mean? For this lesson, we are going to break stage direction down into two areas for further focus. We will use the crucible to look at some relevant examples so you all can get a better sense as to what exactly I'm talking about here. The first element involved in stage direction is the expression of a character's emotions. In a novel, the reader understands a character's emotions from the narration. Because plays do not typically have narration, the actors follow the emotions dictated by the playwright in the stage direction. Let's take a look at this scene from the 1996 movie version of The Crucible. What do we do? The whole country's talking witchcraft! She means to tell. We've got to tell or they'll be calling us witches! Witchery's a hanging era, like they done in Boston two years ago. You only be whipped for trying to conjure the boys and the dancing. This character, Mary Warren, is played by this actress, Karen Graves. Before Mary enters the scene, playwright Arthur Miller describes her in the stage directions as breathless. She is 17, a subservient, naive, lonely girl. This description is essential. Without it, her character could have just as easily been something as generic as a mother scolding her children. With Mary's youth, the audience gets a good sense of her complete fear. The second element for focus are the actual stage directions. That is, the stage directions cue from where actors will enter and exit the stage and where certain props will be situated. But vague directions such as here or there are not enough. Playwrights use specific terminologies to convey where on the stage the actors or props should be set. Here is a bird's eye view of a typical stage. As you can see, the audience is towards the bottom of the screen. Let's take the bottom right square, labeled DL, as our example. DL stands for down left, but for an audience member, that position appears to be on one's right. In theater, left and right are used in relativity, relativity to the actors on stage. So for an actor facing the audience, down left is indeed on his or her left side. The term down is used to refer to the front of the stage, that's the front row, and up is used to refer to the back. So remember, these are just some jumping off points. If you start being alert to the stage directions in future plays that you read, you'll begin to have a much easier time in understanding those plays.